Well, the Indiana Department of Education has launched a new program that provides coaching to teachers in reading and STEM subjects. Fox 59's Kristen Eskow joining us live to show us how this could help make up for some of the lost learning time from the pandemic. Yeah, and Dan, we've certainly seen evidence yeah. of that in the test scores for sure. State officials say I read results from last school year showed nearly one in five Hoosier third graders were not proficient in reading. That's just one example of learning lost during the pandemic. Now the Department of Education hopes the new teacher teaching strategies can help turn things around. Students are still suffering setbacks after learning on laptops for so long. We have had a kindergartners who may not have had access to preschool. We have first graders who had an unusual kindergarten year. Anna Roth oversees curriculum at Southmont schools. To help some of the youngest students catch up on reading, her district created a position earlier this year to coach teachers on a new interactive method of instruction based on research. It might mean that you're working with um, blocks or cards to be able to move things around and do that. So it's more than just words on the page. That's the main thing. Although Roth's elementary schools already have one of these coaches on staff, they are among the nearly 70 schools statewide participating in a new program next year. It allows districts to hire coaches to help teachers learn research-based instruction methods for reading and STEM classes. We know that if they continue to struggle to read past the third grade, that impacts a whole nother range of their learning. Holly Lawson of the Indiana Department of Education says the coaches at these K-8 through schools only work with teachers, not students. She says they'll have education backgrounds and receive additional training from the state. Some of the schools opted in voluntarily, while others were invited to participate based on test scores. And it's also based upon um, you know, the demographics that we see in these schools because we know that um, you know, not all students were impacted equally by COVID. Now, state officials say this is a pilot program for now that's set to run at least the next two school years. It's being funded with $20 million in federal COVID relief that was set aside for schools. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you.